In recent years, a shifting geopolitical landscape has seen China, Russia and Iran align in ways that are concerning and even destabilizing to the international order. You can see this in the ongoing wars both in Ukraine as well as in Gaza with Tehran, Moscow and Beijing often acting in concert. This alignment or coming together of these three disparate but very influential countries is being viewed by some as the emerging axis of evil. That phrase was famously used by former US President George W. Bush in the aftermath of 9-11 to refer to Iran, Iraq and North Korea, albeit it had a different character, it had a different set of objectives. But now, Mitch McConnell, who is one of the most influential Republicans on the Hill, has called Iran, China and Russia as the new axis of evil. So is there any credence to Senator McConnell's theory? That's what we will put to test. The latest chapter in this evolving alliance is being seen during the ongoing Israel-Hamas conflict. Iran has long been a supporter of Hamas, providing financial aid, weaponry and training. Israel is convinced that Hamas could not have carried out the audacious attacks of October 7th without active support from Iran. Although neither Israel nor America have put out any proof yet of Iran's active role in the October 7th attacks. Now, this support has emboldened Hamas in its attacks on Israel, threatening regional stability. Iran has also played a crucial role in supporting Hezbollah, the Shia terrorist group in Lebanon. Iran provides Hezbollah with funding weapons and political backing. Now, this assistance has allowed Hezbollah to become a significant force in Lebanon and a persistent threat to Israel, particularly along its northern border. Now, this is evident even during the ongoing conflict where deliberate and sustained rocket fire from Hezbollah along Israel's northern border has forced Israel to open a second front in this war. This is sure to divert resources and attention from Israel's planned ground offensive into Gaza. On another front, Russia's invasion of Ukraine back in February of 2022 had significantly destabilized geopolitics, particularly in Europe. It's the biggest war seen in continental Europe since the end of the Second World War. It has already claimed more than 9,000 Ukrainian lives and by some unofficial estimates, more than 50,000 Russians have also died. The annexation of Crimea in 2014, then followed by the open invasion of the Donbass region in eastern Ukraine, which started in 2022 and continues to rage even now, more than a year and a half, that has strained international relations. It's also had a knock-on effect on both food and fuel prices. And most importantly, it was a violation of Ukraine's sovereignty, something that is mentioned explicitly even in the UN Charter. Now, this event marked a turning point in the post-Cold War international order. It raised concerns about Russian expansionism. China's stand on Russia's actions in Ukraine have also been the subject of scrutiny. China has refrained from condemning Russia's actions. It has not condemned Russia in any of the numerous UN resolutions, leading some to speculate about the limits of their No Limits partnership. This was the phrase used by Xi Jinping just before this war began. Notably, outside of some of the neighboring periphery countries, two of the only countries visited by Vladimir Putin after this conflict with Ukraine began were China and Iran. And that indicates a deepening of ties between Beijing, Moscow and Tehran. There have been reports suggesting that both China and Iran are providing logistical support to Russia in this war, including the supply of drones. There are also allegations which raise concerns about the extent to which these countries are collaborating in destabilizing their respective regions and challenging the international rules-based order. And as if the ongoing two wars, one in Ukraine, the other in Gaza, were not bad enough for the world, there is now potentially a third theater that is getting added in the mix. China's assertive stance in the South China Sea has been a huge point of contention. In the latest incident, China has rammed into a Philippine Coast Guard vessel and a military supply boat, which was trying to access an island called the Second Thomas Shoal, where China has been trying to build a military outpost. China has also repeatedly increased pressure on Taiwan, which is a self-governing island which Beijing claims as its own. And the Philippines is a US treaty ally. Recent incidents like the ramming of the Philippine fishing vessel, which happened in August, and now the Philippine Coast Guard vessel, which was also rammed by a Chinese Coast Guard ship, 
These have heightened tensions in the region. Furthermore, China has not respected the 2016 United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea, UNCLOS verdict, which ruled in favor of the Philippines in the territorial dispute over Scarborough Shoal. This is a tiny set of islands which are close to the Philippine Sea, which Philippines has always had sovereignty over. But over the last 10 years or so, since Xi Jinping came to power, China has been claiming Scarborough Shoal as its own. The United States, which is a military treaty ally of the Philippines in response to the latest incident, has warned China that its behavior in the South China Sea, particularly with the Philippines, is not acceptable. So these three countries, China, Russia and Iran, are increasingly seen as a united front which is challenging the established rules-based order. This order, which was constructed at the end of the Second World War, has been championed by the United States. It has also been beneficial to its allies in Europe and in Asia. The alignment of these countries, Russia, China, Iran, represents a challenge to this existing global order. Each of these countries has a vested interest in destabilizing and potentially also diminishing the influence of the United States as the world's most powerful country. The emergence of this new axis of evil, as some people are calling it, is a complex and evolving development in global geopolitics. The combined efforts of China, Russia and Iran pose one of the most significant challenges to the rules-based world order and it could have far-reaching implications both for regional as well as global stability. The international community must closely monitor these developments and adapt to the changing landscape to ensure there is peace and security in what is becoming increasingly a fractured and uncertain world.